Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a very, very simple carbonara. Try trying. Have a go. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. So I had a recipe request come through from a Marina Petru on Facebook. Hi, how's it going? Uh, she wants me to make a simple carbonara, so let's give it a go. Uh, hit pause on the video now. Write them all down. And if you want, if you're looking at the ingredients, you're like, I don't like that, add something in that you do like. If you don't want to use the bacon, you could go, I think I might use chicken, you know, something like that, or maybe rabbit or fox. I don't know, so many people that like animals and stuff like me, you might get a bit funny about that. So, um, this is gonna start. So what, two pans a day, that's it, just two pans. This one is full of water, I'm gonna put my pasta in. Because I'm using fresh pasta, it's gonna take a couple of minutes, but if you're using a bit more hardcore, harder shell pasta, you're gonna need to fat that in, it's gonna take about 10, 15 minutes. So all the cooking, the main cooking, is going on in that pan. So let's chuck stuff in. Right home, so we're ready to go. This pan here has got some olive oil in it, I just dropped it in there and it's warming up very nicely indeed. We've got some ingredients back here, we're just gonna chuck in. First thing to go in is four rashes of sliced bacon. That goes like that. It's going to start the sizzle. Yeah. Pushing in a clove of garlic. Oh yeah. And go the baby mushrooms. Last but not least for now, spring onions. You can use a normal onion if you prefer. I'll go for spring onions, baby, because it's spring. So keep stirring it. Get your bacon cooked through all over. Your mushrooms and your spring onions all softened, and that garlic going, ooh, giving out that flavour. Ooh. Shabba dabba ding dong. That is looking good. That bacon is cooked through already. Those mushrooms are softened up and the flavour in here, the smell and the essence of the Virgin Kitchen is digging right now. Shakalaka. Uh, the next step, you can grab a separate bowl or you can chuck it all in the same pan like I am to save you washing up. Which is some cream, cha-ching, about 300 mils. Ooh. Oh yeah. And two eggs. Now that looks like it's come out of one. Ooh, it kind of looks like nipples as well. And I was once told that if you hit a chicken with a stick, it will lay, a, get angry and lay a double yolk up, like one egg shell, but inside's two yolks. I don't know, that's just two eggs. I don't hit chickens. Uh, what we're gonna do is add these two things in there. So let's do it. In goes the cream. And now goes in our double yolks. Notice how it's calmed down a little bit. It's soothed, amazing. Let's try and get the yolks in there like this. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's stir this all through. We'll get some salt and pepper and cheese in there any minute now. Just to let you know, I'm bringing my pan of water up to boil for my pasta. Um, if you're in a bit of a rush and you're doing the old school pasta, you could always boil a kettle and start it in there, give it a bit of a kickstart. But I got some time. Uh, so what we're gonna do is grab our grated Parmesan cheese and just in there, like so, like that. Mix it through, that egg is doing its job in there, it's thickening it up, it's like a big cheesy combination right now. Try and leave some cheese for the end as well. And here's my giant shaft of pepper. And what we're gonna do is just grind as much or as little as you like on it. I didn't even care, just don't even look at the camera. Just Grind the pepper in, like that, okay? I'm talking to my cupboard right now. Yeah. Okay, so you'll notice I've switched the pans around now. I've got that one there simmering away with our carbonara in there. Oh my goodness. Right here is a pan of water, which is now boiling. So we're gonna put in our pasta. Do not burn your hand in there. Okay, that was good. Right here is a toaster, and I've got two slices of baguette, like that. Ooh, and uh, what I'm gonna do, plonk them in the toaster, ah, like that, plonk it in there. Straight down, toast them up. Okay, so once you toast your toasty things, just put them on one side, they're not important right now. Go chop up some parsley if you want to. Um, what you've got with your drained off pasta, once it was all drained off, check that steam coming out. Pick it up like that, straight, boom, into your pan of your big carbonara mixture. Okay, so let's give it a big stir through, get it all coated in that sauce. I need to do that with both hands, otherwise that pan is gonna fall off and go all down me, which would be amazing footage. But I don't feel like doing that today. Yep, so this is where I'm stirring it through, getting that sauce and all those mushrooms and bacon, and the spring onions and even the garlic, even the garlic, getting right in there. Get it all nice and coated and mingled in between that pasta. Oh yeah, only about five minutes doing this max, and I'm ready to serve it. So once you're ready, grab yourself a bowl. That'll do. Now fill it with your carbonara, baby. Wicked. So chuck your toasts alongside like that, and then grab like some more Parmesan and just scatter some on the top as well. Oh my goodness, like that, and if you want, just top it with some herbs of your choice. This is just some very finely chopped parsley. Scatter that on top like that. And that, my friends, is a very simple carbonara. I'm not Italian, so I'm not a pasta master or anything like that. But basic carbonara, done. 
So there we go then folks, a very, very simple carbonara. So many ways to make that, but chicken carbonara is one of my favorites actually, so I should have made that actually. But um, I'm actually not gonna eat it today because uh, I've got a TV crew coming around in a minute to film me, so that's why I'm all smart and got something nice to show them. So ultimately, if I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself, let me know how you get on, and I'll see you again next time. Peace and love, peace and love. Thanks for watching the video on how to make a very simple carbonara. There's so many ways to make it and you guys are experts probably much better than me, but that's just one way you can do it. Uh, the other video on the top right there is my crumpet video I did the last one and it was amazing, kind of cool, like not many people know about them, so give them a go and uh, I'll see you again next time. Cheers for watching.